I'm Ryan Betson. I'm Max Cooper. And this is more The Players. The Pop Culture PlayStation Podcast Extra. We uh, continue our road on The Last of Us, the HBO's latest series. It's time for episode four, Max. Mm, so episode four is currently untitled. Yeah, so we're seeing the we're watching these ahead of time. Uh, so big thank you to the team over at Binge and HBO for providing us the screeners for this. Normally we try to t- you know like oh we'll bring the, ep- the name of the episode in. Uh, we couldn't at this point because it doesn't have a name. At one point four. Yeah, <laughs> number four. Uh, so this kicks off right where we ended up in uh, the previous episode. So it is Joel and Ellie going through um, Bill and Frank's safe house. Mm-hmm. They're their bunker. They're packing up the car, getting ready to go. They're heading to Wyoming to to go save Tommy. Yeah. To go find Tommy. So it starts off very simple. They're going, they're in the car. They're going through, doing their highway driving. Ali's sitting in the front, she's got the map. And they, they're trying to work out the best way. And they're just bullshitting. We're going. just seeing a lot they're of just, character they're just, stuff. They're just, they're just bullshitting. So it um, there's a really funny moment where, um, and this pulled straight out of the game from memory. Um yeah. Ali steals a porno mag from from Bill's safe house. Yeah, finds it under the car in the under the car yeah. seat. Yeah, and um, she's she's looking through and she's like, "Why are all the pages sticky?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Ah, oh, that's great." She, but yeah, but I think that's what, what we got, like, before it, we, it, before it, we dive into the it, Kansas it, City part. Well, I wasn't going to get there yet. I was yeah. going to say this, oh, this. The main part of this episode is is it's a it's a bonding road trip yeah. between Ellie and Joel. It, yeah, it's. It's them kind of getting to know each other better, where they've kind of been standoffish for the first few episodes, where they don't want to talk about their, themselves to each other. This is the, um, you know, Ali makes the comment, tell me about your brother. And Joel's like, that's a long story. She's like, we're going to be in the car for like 27 hours. Like, I think we've got time. Yeah. And that's and that's when they start to open up to each other. And they, they do all that 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 small talk and we, we get a lot of background information on on tommy and why he is the way he is and why why joel and tommy aren't together considering the fact that you know they're brothers and you know they should stick together and all that all that stuff they've kind of you know it explains why they went their separate ways to a degree and and it does bring ali and joel closer because of that yeah and, and I, th- I think that's the main focus of this episode is is, is jo- the bond between joel and ali and how they need to well, not how they need to, but how they go around, go by and um, strengthen that by just their 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 banter. Their you know a lot of jokes. Ali pulls out a book of puns, and that she's constantly joking with Joel throughout the episode. Yeah. And Joel's like, you know, at some point, you you know, if I bring you with me, you you do what I say when I say it, and you know you got to have your shit together type thing. So it's, it's that, there's that um, contrast between Joel's sto- stoic and seriousness and Ali's very much still that lighthearted kid. Yeah. Like we've, like we've seen her sort of, cause in the previous episodes, like she was still within the QZ. She was, you know, not feeling very safe. Right. So mm. we start to see that the bravado that Ali portrays is her defense mechanism, right? In the same way we talked about, you know, last week in episode three with Bill, his shut, like his shut offness to the world is a defense mechanism in himself. Mm. So we see, and now that we see that Ali is starting to feel safe with Joel, she is dropping a lot of that. And then the, the, the energy, the fun, the loving, the sort of like, you know, smart assness comes out, but like not in the harsh smart ass that we see before, like we used to sort of see her joking and like, but we also see something we talked about last the last episode too, about that, that in- interest in violence. Like they go to this gas station in order to find this old supply. Um, and downstairs they, she finds a, a, like a clicker or a walker, a runner, one of the two and stabs him. That happened episode three. Oh, yeah. my apologies. That's episode three. Downside, uh, I've got some uh, more to go. Episode four, she's sitting there with the gun that she stole without Joel knowing, That's and right. she's sitting there putting the bullets in the chamber, cocking the gun. That's right. Yeah, she was practicing in the, in the toilet. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, my yeah, apologies. Her aim. She's, she's swapping eyes, closing one eye, closing the other eye, trying to work out what's best for her, and she's standing there in the mirror with the 
with the gun pointed at it. Yeah. Yes, this is the downside of us watching them early, <laughs> watching them together, is and doing the bank bank recording. Spoilers uh, to the how we're doing it. Um, like episode three to me was solely Bill and Frank, and I forgot about all the other stuff. I I presumed it happened in this mm. episode. Um, but yeah, we sort of see that, and we get this re- interesting idea that like when they're driving, that you know petrol like they can't. They, fuel is fucking way shitter now than it was previously you know it's all disintegrated over time because just sat there and exposed to the elements great idea it sort of explains like the stopping and starting why they can't just fang it in one direction for like seven hours um you know we start to see as they get into more remote areas they start to sort of uh, explain further explore the idea that the the real enemy in this world isn't infected yeah so they they do they essentially stop for the night and they they camp in the woods and ali's like can we have a fire and he and joel said and joel asked the question is why am i going to tell you no and and ali being presumptuous is like well the clickers will see the smoke and he's like well no it's too remote for them it's people we need to be concerned about out here like it's it's interesting that it's not the infected that's the problem it's it's society as a whole is fucking died human, and everyone yeah. and, and everyone's just out for themselves which then nicely ties into when they get to kansas city mm. so uh what happens is they essentially they were just a highway driving because they, they try again they're trying to get to wyoming and they come to a point on an overpass where they can't get any further because the the road's blocked and there's a tunnel and joel's like oh we'll just go around we'll go through the city we'll get back on and they come across an injured man in the middle of the city yeah and Ali's like, are we going to help him? He's like, Joel's like, no, buckle up. And they fang it. And then all of a sudden, ambush ensues. Yeah. And that's that's a, that's an interesting scene. It it, it shows, um, you know, they, they have a, essentially, they, they keep driving. They hit some spike strips. They crash land in what appears to be like a laundromat. Yeah. Or a, a just a decrepit building anyway. And it's, it's Joel basically covering Ali and Ali's, He's his his first thought is Ali needs to get to safety. She needs to get away from this. She doesn't need to see what I have to do to protect us. Correct. He's like, it's a hole in the wall. When I tell you to, I want you to stay low. You're gonna go and you're gonna stay there until I tell you it's safe. The shootout happens, and essentially she does disobey. She comes back out to save Joel's life. Yes. And then they have this very interest. They they have this very um. They very quickly gloss over what happens to talk about it again later in the episode of of what what she had to deal with in that situation and how he, he apologizes to her and be like, you know, it's my fault that you had to do that. That shouldn't have been something that, that's on you. Um, and, and it's a very interesting back and forth Beautiful. about... Yeah. And it leads to him teaching her how to, how to hold the gun properly because he's like, who told you how to do this? She's like, oh, it's the Fedra school. He's like, well, it explains why it's it's wrong. And he goes through and he, you know, gives her that, that quick gun safety rundown. And then uh, as, it, as it always has been, I've noticed there's this light banter at the end of such a serious conversation. So she goes to stow her gun in the back of her pants. And he's like, you put it in your pack because you're going to blow your ass off if you do that. There's always that 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 tiny little bit of lightheartedness in the, mm. at the back end of such a serious conversation that's um it's such an interesting tonal choice what i love about this scene specifically as you mentioned where they're having this sit down and chat is we sort of see we see joe we, we, we see joel in that like he believes his greatest failing is not being able to save sarah mm. and what he saw was a position where he almost where he similar to it always happened again it almost happened again like he almost put her in danger in the same way that he put sarah in or in in his brain he put sarah in danger and he got and he believes that he got her killed Mm. so what we saw was that essentially a trauma response we saw a man who fucking freaked and you know wrecked these dudes because he had to um but then also that what comes with that and that that sorrow and that self hatred that knowing that he almost did the same again, and he's you know this just this belief this is sitting here being like I'm the greatest fucking failure, and she's like no like this isn't essentially this is not my first rodeo nor should it be, 
but it is isn't my first radio and I'm not her which I which I like but then we also get to sort of, we see the beginnings of like the obviously these these raiders that um that swarm Joel and Ellie we get to see a little bit of their city and like their grouping and like this woman's interrogating this doctor for some fucking reason um it's not for some reason she's looking for Henry. she's looking for um two certain individuals so this is kathleen i don't recall her being neither top i think i think this is i think this is a new character um but she's looking for henry and sam who joel and ellie do meet in the game they do um so she's she's essentially interrogating this doctor she's like i know you know where henry is we believe he's still in the city and because of this we think you know where he is and she's essentially trying to find it doesn't uh there's no information on why she's trying to find them hmm. um that's what i remember like for some reason there's no any yeah. clear indicator as why she's seeking out the two of them um i so <clears throat> um essentially yeah so while this is happening joel and ali are trying to scout out the city to to, to work out how best to escape because they're like this is obviously a raiders encampment uh, we just killed a bunch of their guys. We are not getting out of this alive. Yeah. Um, we need to. We need to be sneaky. We need to be stealthy. They. Th- their plan is essentially we're going to go to a big tall building. We're going to. Joel makes the joke of I'm going to climb up as many fucking stairs as I can. And we're going to. We're going to have a look and we're going to work out how to get out of here. And that's that's essentially where the where the episode ends is them trying to plan how to get out of this raider infested city. Yeah. It's a very short episode. It's the shortest episode so far. It's got a yep. runtime of about 40-ish minutes. Yep. So it's about half an hour shorter than the rest of the episode, yeah. which is crazy. I fucking um, love... That's what I love about these shows, right? Then this new this new way of television, right? That doesn't have to be 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be an hour. It doesn't, you know, like, it's like whatever, whatever the story dictates. And hmm. I love that. Because this story... Any longer in this episode, it would have felt like fluff. But, like, this was short I and think, sharp for a I, reason. I think... I think it cut off at a really good point because yeah. I think if they had done any more, the episode would have had to be in like two hours long. Yeah, potentially, yeah. Um, but I think they end, they ended this episode really well. So you're very high um, on this episode, yeah? Pardon? You're very high on this episode. Uh, no, there was just some moments that I thought were very, very good. Obviously, it's also the freshest episode in my mind because I watched it like, today as yeah, we like recorded two this. two hours ago, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but I just... I ju- this this episode for me really is the beginning of Ali's and Joel's proper relationship. Yeah, so this is the act two stuff, right? Yeah. You know, in a in a nine episode in a nine episode show, it's three three three. So we fir- mm-hmm. the the first three was all set up. The se- second three is all you know second act stuff. So like set up. Here's the major problem. And then we have resolution of the problem. So yeah. right now we're seeing the yeah, we're seeing the beginnings of the you know the zombies the the the, the infected uh, aren't as I said before aren't the major fucking threat. The other the real threat is people, and we see that we see the beginnings of raiders them having to escape. Like it's it what this sets up is fucking exciting. Mm. You know, yeah, and so, then by keeping the these group of raiders at a distance, we're not we're not introduced who they are. We don't know what they're doing. We don't know what their goals are. Like you know, survival does the craziest shit to people. So I'm very interested to see to see what they do moving forward. But and then it ends with you know spoilers for the game and the show. Henry, and what's the kid's and name Sam. again? And Sam. Sam. Henry and Sam. Yeah. Sam. And, but once again, we see some really cool, once again, more, hu- as you mentioned, more human moments, right? Like mm. what I love, right, is that when the final scenes where they're in this, in this office building, they're like, what, 30 stories up or something. Yeah, it's like 30, yeah. It doesn't matter. They're, they're almost at the top of the building. Yeah, and as they're lying there, you know, Ali drops a pun that makes, breaks Joel, which I love. Like the uh, you know because he we talked about you know, a moment ago we talked about how Ali's her guards dropped in terms of she doesn't she can feel a bit more like safer and Joel is his guards coming off too, which I love. Yeah. You know, and then he's like, uh, and then he starts laughing. It's the first time we've seen him laugh in the show since at least since episode one, right? But once again, it's only been fucking four episodes. It feels like we've been watching like hours of this shit. So it's such a good, well written show. Um. 
but there's also that really cool little human moments and it's where she, you know she's like hey um are you sure you're going to hear it because i've noticed that you don't hear well on your with your right ear is it because yeah because she's, 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 been, she's been yelling at him she's like joel joel she's got to yell at him a yeah. third time to get his attention because he's like um he's lying shards of glass around the room well, I mean, but i mean like, like but even before that happens it yeah. establishes that like and then it also builds in because like i've shot a gun so many times that mm. my ears fucked yeah you know which also sets up because one of the things that we that the game doesn't really touch upon which gets touched upon in the second game is that joel's done some shit in like the 20 years from like from d-day to to when we first see him in in this new time like he's done some fucked up shit. He is horrible people, and mm. they. I think they're hinting at this a lot more. So in the game, they kind of touch upon it, and you you kind of imply that he did things for survival solely. So you kind of build up this relationship to, as him as this sort of you know soft hearted protagonist. But then as we sort of now head into head into here, and like especially head head into to part two in the games, you learn he's done shit because he did not for survival just did to make ends meet to make money whatever it was in that time he did it yeah and then but yeah, here it's because once again it's 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 tell not show they're telling you like i've done stuff yeah like ali asks the question how did you know it was a trap and he's like i've i've been on yes, both sides says, yes this. and then you go then she later shows have you killed innocent people and he just dodges the answer yeah good there's really good character moments coming out everywhere here mm-hmm. it's, it's it's very very brilliant like i guess like well, we're almost seeing the halfway point here we like as of as a time of recording two episodes of ed and it's still in, and everyone's incredibly positive like the ratings for episode hey, the two ratings have, gone have increased yeah the ratings yeah. have increased week on week so far like, i guess like sort of what's your re- like, have you because most people that you speak to are part of games biz. So, so I, I reckon, I recommended this to my mom. Yeah. Um, and she's loving it. Yeah. So obviously she's gone in blank. She, the only video game she plays is Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, yeah. so she's, she, she's pretty stoked on this. Um, but yeah, for the most part, most of the people who I'm watching it are, are watching it because they've played the game and they mm-hmm. want to see, uh, I want to see how well that's how well it's 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 uh, uh, converted into um, a non-interactive medium. Yeah, and, and it, so far it's done well. Yeah, most definitely. As, as I talked about in the previous episodes, like I'm watching it with my, with my partner Phoebe, and she's she's nev- having never played the games. Like I said, as I think I said in episode two, like she has seen up until they escaped the quarantine zone because she was watching me play part one when we reviewed it. Everything for me, she has no fucking idea. So she, I should. Sorry, finish your point and then I'll, I'll, I'll just remember something. That's right. Yeah. So like, it's been fascinating sort of watching her like get into it. Like she's crying as well. Like she's emotionally moved by the show and the characters and she's the performances of Joel, you know, of like Pe- uh, Pedro Pastel, who's exceptional. By the way. Like we touched upon episode one. We said, hey, he's brilliant. Hasn't changed. He's still brilliant. Like Bella Ramsey. We said she was brilliant episode one. Four episodes later, still fucking brilliant. But like seeing her getting intense in these characters and then her having theories about what's going to happen and like, you know, we have a rough idea of where it's going. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to tell you a thing. It's been fun. But you keep talking, keep talking. Yeah, so there's actually, there's a, there's a woman I work with um, and she, she has kids our age. Mm. And she's been watching it with them because uh, her kids are big fans of the game. And she's like, after we watched episode one, the kids booted up the game and showed me that opening scene of the game. She's like, the TV show blew it out of wa- out of the water comparatively. Yeah. She's like, it was it was so much better told and displayed in in, in the in in the TV series as what it was in the game. So. It's it's definitely doing well. It's mm. it's hitting where it needs to hit. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's going to do exceptionally well. Like if from a like a, a, I will be I will be very surprised if they do not do part two. Oh, they well. do it. The plan apparently the plan is part two. Like this, and yeah. what I love about that as well is like season one is once again we're in episode four. Apparently, pretty much brings the whole game together. 
and then season two will be part two. Now, whether they extend part part because part two is a long ass fucking game, and obviously there's the you know the Zoe uh, the Zoe the uh, 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 Abby stuff and the uh, and the Ali stuff. Like, are they gonna like ext- you know because it's two t- may two major narratives? Are they gonna break season part two into season two and three? Pardon me. Like that'd be very interesting to see as well. But yeah, no, it's it's been fascinating to sort of see people come into it. Yeah, with the, with the new eyes. But yeah, well, let us know what you thought of episode four. Uh, currently untitled, um, so you know we don't even you know, whatever. But yeah, no, look, it's very very good. The show's still like as I expected. I, I thought that we would be every episode of this show. Like we're like we'll review every, we'll review every episode by episode and. As I expect, I was like, yep, episode's good. Yep, episode's good. Yep, episode's good. Yep, episode's good. And I feel that will probably be a continuous thread. Yeah. Um, and because like this one, in terms of its comparison, uh, you know, unlike three, this is very close to the game as well. In that this whole Raider thing literally happened in the game too. Like you get, mm. you get stung and they, and then that begins, uh, once in knowing where the end of the, where the game ends this is that stepping point as you mentioned this is where they bond together harder this is where the main key antagonists kick in very 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 exciting Where's, what's your favorite one so what's your favorite episode so far right yeah three one four three one two. four two yeah yeah we'll keep doing that too because that's fun yeah three one four two is where it's at currently but anyways uh let us know what you thought of episode four, as I said, in the comments below. Uh, we'd much, we'd love to hear what you think. Uh, are, you, are you watching episode five now? No, I don't have time before work. Ah, stupid work. But anyways, but if you want to hear us talk more about PlayStation in general, you can. We have a weekly show called For the Plays, the Pop C PlayStation podcast episode. It's on this same channel. It's on the it's on the YouTube feeds. It's on the podcast feeds. Uh, drops every Monday morning at 8 a.m. on podcast services, 9 a.m. on those YouTubes. Talk about all the latest in PlayStation, whether it be news, reviews, opinion pieces, me ranting about some bullshit for 25 minutes. Not 25 minutes, but they are long. It can be. I'm very passionate and opinionated, it seems. Uh, but... Until the next one, episode five, I'm Ryan Betson. I'm Max Cooper. And uh, yeah, don't trust injured people on the side of the road. Who knows what could happen? It's gonna, I was going to be like, it's not always a fart, but sure, we'll, we'll do yours. Yeah, 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 that's true. <laughs> runs, in, runs in your jeans. <laughs>